Rumor has it, rumor, rumor has it. Call out a name, or you gossiping, or you chatty patty. I'm gossiping. This is the rumor report. I mean, I guess we on the Breakfast Club. This is where the tea spills, right? Right. right. On the Breakfast Club. Now, little Yachty had a conversation with Drake. Looks uh, with Drake. Ooh, they Drake. were gonna be <laughs> with Drake. Man, boy, you be flirting with dudes early in the morning, bro. How you gonna call a man a drink? You want to taste? I said with Drake. Damn, you messed That's up. crazy. Is that crazy, Drake? And Lex? <laughs> Damn. They were on a beach. They were having a conversation, and little Yachty joked about his age. Mm. Just left thirty-five, right? And it's like you're getting up there. Well, all right. Um, just saying. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, you're right. How old are you? 25, so. Yeah. I can't wait. You're going to get old as f- By the time you're I get old as fuck, but when I'm old as fuck, you're going to be in a cane. No, no, by the way, first you'll of be, all, you'll be using first a cane. of all, I'll be 10 years older than you. <laughs> yeah, you'll be still, used, still dripping. As out. much basketball you play, you'll definitely be using a cane by 40. Nah. By the way, I'll be in an incredible shape. I think you'll be using a cane. Nah. I don't I think do. so. But but again, I know that you like you you have like confidence at twenty five because you're twenty five. Like it's so. I've cool had confidence now. since sixteen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's like cool to you that you're twenty five. <laughs> I get it. I was there. By the way, I was there. I was like twenty five too. Hey man, I keep telling y'all, don't hang your hat on money and age because they both are very fleeting. You're only gonna be young for a moment. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You're gonna be older much longer than you're younger if you know you're you're, you're blessed to see those so, see those years. Absolutely. I think it's crazy how people think that like 35 is old. Right. That's not old. I used to think that too. That everybody does though. Yeah. Everybody does. When when, when you're younger, 18, mm-hmm. you're old. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, then, and then you get to your 30s, you would be like, oh, that ain't old. It's leaky. Yeah. It's yeah. weird. I like it. And yeah. I think it's weird. Well, let me not speak for other people, but when people call me auntie, I like it. Like when the older people be like, "Oh, don't call me auntie," I call me auntie. It don't offend me either. I love it. Don't it. offend me either. Because I feel like when you're older, auntie. you're wiser, you're smarter. And does, does it's it a f- compliment. That's, yeah, that's, that's how I feel. Age is a blessing. Yeah. Like you know, like people getting killed at eighteen and nineteen years old. I'm happy to see forty-four. All right, auntie. Mm-hmm. Not Let's, auntie Betty. Oh, auntie, go. auntie. Be- oh boy, <laughs> he gonna run with that one. Now he also talks about a conversation he had with his uh, therapist. Okay, maybe. What not. is the craziest thing you've ever done for someone? I once did like three hours of prosthetics, like so I could attend somebody's court date that I cared about because they were in trouble for something. That's deep. Yeah. And I walked in as like a 80 year old man, and everyone was like, Is that Drake as an 80 year old? They were de- it definitely was like I'm not like yo I had one of the like best Hollywood makeup artists in the world. They were still like that's no definitely Drake. That's crazy. That was supposed to be, no that was supposed to that was supposed to be the next one. He says the craziest thing you've done, but I guess oh now now they got the therapist one. Not to say I don't have morals and simplicity, but like I don't need my life to be rooted in like mm-hmm. find somewhere to disappear in the world and like disconnect from everybody. That's not really like where I'm headed. Right. I did talk to a therapist one time and he made this point about being like, you know, no matter what kind of woman you're chasing physically, right? Mm-hmm. Like you like you like ass, you like f-ies. he's like, you walk into any room and you have the just the most gigantic t- Nobody can think about anything else other than you, whatever your gigantic t- which is your Drake I, I, I remember this about this guy. I remember that about this guy. I bet this guy does this. I bet this guy does that. Like, all the preconceived notions, they're just, like, they can't see past the gigantic t- unless they talk to you. And then they're like, oh, wow, like, you're actually, like, I mean, your t- are huge, but you're super Jesus. smart. Right. Wow. That's why I relate to girls with huge t- I understand what he's saying. Do you? <laughs> I do, I do. I Auntie do. Batty, okay, break it down. No, it's, it's yeah, just break like, it down. Please. No, it's just like whatever works for him. For those of us who go to therapy, you know, I go to therapy a lot. That, mm-hmm. That's that's a great therapist. Cause that therapist said something that, you know, connected with Drake, and you know, Drake is able to apply it to his life, and it worked. He said something that that's relatable to Drake. Mm-hmm. And it connected with Drake. That's all a good therapist is supposed to do. Connect with you. Right. You I know? Agree with that. Yeah, that makes sense. But I hope that he took that and really change the way that he views, especially women, when you walk into a room. Because I feel like a lot of times men don't even look at women like humans. We're just like body flesh parts. That's and body saying. parts. You that's know what I'm saying? That's exactly what he's saying. Yeah. He's like, they, they look at him as just uh, 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 objects. You know, big right. breasts. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I mean? They're right. not, they not getting, I think we cut a part out. I don't know if I heard that part, but he talked about how until you have a conversation with a person, mm-hmm. you don't really know what yeah, a person is about. All you yep. see is the surface. Yep. So that's that's what he was saying. All right. right. Well, that like is... When big breasts walk in the room, people are like, oh, shoot, but you're more than breasts. Right? Still right. fine. So take the notes, but yeah. it's something mm-hmm. under there that's as right. well. Mm-hmm. I saw you scratching under yours this morning. <laughs>
<laughs> it's getting a little hot <laughs> still now. <laughs> Do you like right. these are still new now? You, they you, you were lips. scratching hard. Like, <laughs> they still new. <laughs> these are new merch. This is new merch, That's Uncle Batty. I, I, I was weak. like, you know, let me mind my business early in the morning. I don't know what's going on. You must have been scratching for a long no, time. No, you were scratching hard. All right. Now you know you wrong. You did. All right. That is your room report. <laughs> Dre and Lex P from the Poor Minds Podcast are joining us this morning. They're our co-hosts. We got front page news next. And Master P will be joining us. All right? He just pulled up this morning, so he got some things to get off his mind. We'll do that in a little bit. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.